This is Dr. John Bergduff. So suppose you have a fairly large number and you have a suspicion that it might be a prime number. You've tried to create a factor tree to see if you could think about two numbers that divide evenly into that number and you can't think of anything. Uh, and so you're beginning to be suspicious that maybe you've actually got a prime number, uh, like 401. Now there's a theorem that we have that says that if you've got a, a, prime, a natural number like 401, if no prime number less than or equal to the positive square root of n, 401 in this case, divides that number, 401, then the number n, in this case 401, is prime. Um, small point, I say positive square root because technically actually any uh, natural number has two square roots, one positive, one negative. For example, when we say square root of four, we usually think of two, but there are actually two numbers that if you square them, you would get four. Two squared is four, but negative two is, uh, squared is four also. So that's why I say that. So let's kind of take a look at this question and see what it's saying. So we're, we're beginning to be suspicious that maybe 401 is prime. What you do is you calculate the positive square root of 401. Now this requires a calculator. So I'm getting my calculator off out to the side. You can't see me doing this. And I am calculating the square root of 401. And it turns out to be equal to approximately 20 point zero two. So here's what you do next. You think about all the prime numbers that you know that are less than or equal to 20.02. So you might use a sieve of Eratosthenes, you might have uh, just a list of primes in your head, but the prime numbers that are less than or equal to 20.02 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. So the task is going to be to ask ourselves whether any of these numbers divide evenly into 401. Is 401 divisible by any of these numbers? So we're going to go through them one at a time and take a look. A couple of them we can use our, uh, uh, our little tricks that we've learned. For example, divisibility by 2. Um, the number itself has to be even to be divisible by 2, so I don't believe that 2 is going to work. The number is not divisible by 2. 3. Well, we could use a calculator, or the trick for 3 is that you add up the digits in the number. In this case, 4 plus 0 plus 1 is 5. If that number is divisible by 3, then the original number is divisible by 3. But 5 is not divisible by 3, so, so 3 is not going to work either. Divisible by 5. Well, for a number to be divisible by 5, it has to end in a 0 or a 5, which this doesn't. So it's not divisible by 5. Uh, there is no cool, um, easy trick for knowing what's divisible by seven. So I'm going to rely on my calculator and I'm gonna figure out what is 401 divided by seven. And it turns out that 401 divided by seven turns out to be 57.28 and some other stuff. So, it does not divide evenly. Seven does not divide 401. So that doesn't work either. Now, without boring you with the details, we could take 401 divided by 11. Uh, I'm going to just do that on my calculator and just tell you. Uh, that's 36.45 with a little bit more. So that doesn't divide evenly. 
And I can also check 13, 17, and 19, just on the calculator. What's 401 divided by 13, by 17, by 19? If it does not come out to be a whole number, then 401 is not divisible by that number. And it will turn out, in fact, that 401 is not divisible by any of these numbers. And if 401 is not divisible by any of the prime numbers less than or equal to the positive square root of the number itself, then the conclusion you have to draw is that the number 401 is prime. Thank you very much.